Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you the user interface of Windows 11 operating system. So most of you must have already seen the introduction of Windows 11. Windows 11 preview version was released last month and the official release is expected on October 5th. So let's go ahead and have a look. So on my Azure portal, I have created the virtual machine with Windows 11. So let's log into this VM. So the user interface, the login page is very different. It's dark blue color, looks very pleasant. Acknowledge the shards block. So let's see. First time setup. If it prompts for anything. Okay, so it wants me to choose privacy, privacy settings for my device. Location, that's fine. Find my device, let's leave it default. Diagnostic not required, inking and typing, tailored experience, let's leave all at default. Okay, so it prompted me only for the privacy settings. Now it has taken me to my desktop. Okay, so there is a window which has popped out. I see my start button is missing from the left hand side corner. The username, the display name shows up here. Okay, so among these icons, the first one is the start button. So let's click on it. Okay, so this window that pops up, this is the start menu. And next to this button, I have search. Then this is if I want to create multiple desktop. This is for creating a widget. This looks like MS Teams, File Explorer, Edge, and this must be Microsoft Store. Okay, so in the start menu, I have Edge. Let's have a look at Edge. Okay, single click, it opens up. So it shows me both the icons for Internet Explorer and Edge. Welcome to new Microsoft Edge. Okay, let's complete the setup. Okay, it's giving me three options. So if I click on the first one, Inspirational. The home page is showing the wallpaper on the full screen. Informational shows me wallpaper on one third of the screen and news and weather on the section below. Focused, okay, focus doesn't show me the news, neither it shows me the wallpaper. But I like this the most, so let's keep it at this and let's confirm it. No, I don't want to sing the data. Let's close it. No. I don't want it to load the Microsoft welcome page. Let's have a look at settings. Okay, so this is changed a lot. Default browser, downloads, printers, system. Let me search. Do I still have internet options? Yes. So let's click on it. Has it changed? Okay. So general page, I see only the first section. 
the section below has changed security looks the same privacy something is missing here content connection is the same no change here this also looks very much the same so let's close edge let's click on the start menu once again so mail no I don't want to set it up and this page looks same as before calendar no I don't want to add the calendar now Microsoft store photos okay it wants me to sign in with a Microsoft account so let me cancel this house this one looks the same settings let's have a look at settings okay so under system settings I have display let's have a quick look night mode let's see okay so maybe it's time bound it's going to change only at night time Bluetooth devices the presentation of the options have changed but the option looks the same network and internet how do I see the properties can I click on this okay so it gives me all the information I see a copy button let's see what does it do I go to the notepad let me paste it okay everything you see on the screen is copied to a notepad that's nice that's nice personalization I see nice wallpapers, nice bright wallpapers and we have colors, themes, lock screens okay so it looks like you can customize this then we have apps all these options looks same as the previous version accounts will show up my current accounts or the local accounts I have on this device time and language again these looks to be the same option Windows update let's see what has changed in Windows update okay so there's a pause button here and I can extend the Windows update up to four weeks so maybe when you're nearing the four weeks time you can further postpone it then I have update history then I have advanced option okay all looks same as before so let's go back from the settings once again start menu Office, Xbox, Solitaire. Let's see what are the new games. Now, Microsoft Solitaire Collection. Select to take a screenshot. So I see five games Spider, Free Cell, Pyramid, Tri Peaks, Clone Like. We'll spend some time later. So let's close it for now. Then I see Spotify, Hulu, To Do, News, Picard, Twitter, Instagram, Calculator. Calculator, anything has changed? No. So the application are all the same as before. But the Windows interface has definitely changed. Okay, I see a new icon, Photoshop Express. That's a good addition. okay so it wants to download photo express definitely I don't want to download it so let's cancel that so we have explored all the icons under start menu let's minimize this let's try creating a file new let's create a text document let's have a look any change in notepad notepad looks the same let me try creating a bitmap bitmap image how do I edit this 
open with paintbrush okay any change here no paintbrush also looks the same so one thing i notice whenever i open any new file it opens on the right hand side and all these defaults i all these default icons they keep shifting on the left hand side so i open bitmap these i can shift to the left then i open notepad they further shift to the left so maybe if i open some 1015 icons the start menu will come back to its original location okay so moving on let's right click then we have display settings so system we have already looked at it before network and internet so let's click on ethernet nope. i'm looking for the ipv4 settings and if i buy the dns anything under properties we have already seen so let's go back maybe something under vpn proxy dialog advanced networking settings okay so it gives me option of disable let's expand this okay maybe something under view additional properties now so let's go back let's check this time under more network adapter options there you go this is what i was looking for so let's go to properties anything has changed here does not look like dns if i need to update it's still the same as before cancel this out no nope, no change there so let's cancel this as well okay let's have a look at firewall this page has changed allow an app through firewall okay adding a port number or a program this page looks same as windows 10 version so let's close firewall personalization we have already looked at this apps these are all the same options time and language these are again the same options windows update any change in windows update gives me the option to pause and extend up to four weeks we have already seen this earlier so let's check here window security and date and time i click on date and time okay not many options here i click on this dnd mode is that dnd mode okay nothing much let me right click on this and just date and time we are back to the same page again so let's cancel this out let me have a look at the task manager oh so now right clicking on the task manager does not give me the option to open task manager so how do i open it let me open it from the start menu task manager okay so all this shows me is photos and does not show me anything else so i click on more details we maximize this okay so this is good ic cpu memory disk network same as the previous version plus ic power usage and power usage trends okay let's have a look anything high or moderate okay so system is working at its perfect task manager is moderate or high but rest everything is same as before so cpu memory disk everything is same as before let's have a quick look at resource monitor any change there no this also looks the same as before 
no no change in the task manager let's have a look at computer management task scheduler looks the same event viewer anything under windows log we still have the same four the most commonly accessed ones shared folder the same three no change there local users i still see the same users groups administrator is hyper-v remote desktop performance performance monitor looks the same data collector reports nope device manager let me open it separately device manager no this also looks exactly same as before so let's close it then we have disk management disk management we have c drive c drive shows ntfs anything under services 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 console also is same as before let's have a look at maybe gp edit the same console as before registry editor this window looks different but again the interface for registry editor is also same as before so what else certificates manage user certificates nope so i think the most commonly accessed consoles by an administrator we have had a look and all look the same as before so so network connections we have seen control panel we have seen colorful icons but still the same options i can click on this i can go to small icons disk management local users device manager firewall event viewer performance monitor task manager manage certificate add remove let's have a look at add remove what has changed there add remove programs nope looks exactly the same application and features turn windows features on or off this also looks to be same okay so i don't really see much change with respect to the interface except the wallpapers the themes the color of the icons the start menu the icons which are next to the start menu everything has shifted to the center so i've clicked on widgets so asking me to log in with microsoft account let's skip it let me check the windows version so it is windows 11 2021 h2 so i think that was about today's video so let me log off is that indifferent signing out a black screen nope so that was it if you found this video useful please like my video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos thank you so much for watching